Hey, what's up everybody? Gary with 110 Scale, and today we're here to talk about VO3D High Impact PLA. This box here ended up on my doorstep after I saw a company post a request in one of the uh, RC groups on Facebook asking for somebody to review the filament. Um, I'm a tech geek, so anytime there's a chance to try anything new, especially with nanotechnology and patents behind it, um, I'm definitely on board for that. The uh, one gripe that I have with PLA is that it is not impact resistant. Um, rigidity generally, you know, the more rigid is something is, generally speaking, the more fragile it can be with impacts. Um, one of the great things about PLA is that it is so rigid. It's one of the most rigid filaments out there. Um, but the downside to that again is that it can break easily. So um, VO3D has some patents on additives in the PLA that disperse uh, the force or the energy from impacts. So you can see on the screen there. Um, nice little box. Um, Future printing, VO3D is easy to print, high impact PLA filament based on patented nanotechnology. Um, one really cool thing that I do like about it is, oh, is it on this box here? Maybe just on the inside. All right, let's go ahead and crack it open and see is that logo right there. It is always good to know that we can get something sourced here uh, in the U.S. and further expand um, the... Uh, investment in 3d printing technology in the u.s so uh, more stuff made here the better so filament does show up in a nice vacuum sealed box bag um, and it has the desiccant down in the middle went with the cobalt blue which as you can see is a cool color uh, nice and dark so you can see the printing specs phone focus here actually a bit higher than almost any PLA I've seen before. Um, generally speaking, the higher the temperature to print, the more heat resistant it will be. So being that I'm in Texas, um, knowing that this probably won't print that well below 200 is a good thing as anything here in Texas, you leave it in your car and it's going to melt. Now, I, I don't know for sure if this will withstand Texas heat in the car um, until I use it, but just by the printing temperatures alone, I would assume that it'll hold up to heat a little bit better than your standard PLA or even some of the PLA pluses. As you saw in the opening clip, here's one of the things printed, SCX24 bouncer chassis. And the other, body panels for the axial rift. I figured going with bouncer platforms was about as good as any to test out durability of a filament from rolling down 30 foot hills to doing backflips and bashing up against rocks. I don't think there's much um, tougher of a challenge for a PLA filament short of skate park bashing. Initial design for this was meant for carbon fiber polycarbonate. You get a lot better layer lines using this high impact PLA um, all the way down to dot one layer height. After many packs, rolling it off some five foot ish drops, sitting in the Texas heat in my car, it's no worse for wear surface scratches, but that's about it. Even up against the hot to the touch motor, which I got about as hot as possible. Um, no deformation at all. Been holding up great. And same story goes for these panels. They are 1.6 millimeters thick in the middle and I think 3.4, 3.6 millimeters thick on the edges. Plenty of wear from rubbing up against stuff and hitting stuff, but zero breaks. Nylon zip ties have snapped and broken off, but no permanent damage to the panels, short of some scratches. Good little hit there. It's been holding up great. No complaints from me. All right, so here's some videos to show what the rigs went through.
back down. That's the way. All right, so final thoughts on the VO3D filament is I like it. Prints clean, nice and durable. Seems to have higher than normal heat resistance compared to regular PLAs. Um, took all the abuse I could throw at it again, short of, you know, going to a skate park. Um, you know, had the uh, rift in a couple of races, up and down plenty of hills. Um, snapped some, uh, some of the zip ties, but no damage to the panels, no damage to the bouncer chassis. So I think I'll definitely be adding a couple more spools of the VO3D uh, high impact PLA to uh, my collection of filaments. So if uh, y'all think you got anything good out of the video, learned anything, um, hit that like and subscribe and uh, check out the filament if you're looking for something tough and uh, easy to print and relatively cheap. Have a good one.